Over the weekend and into today, evacuation operations continued. Uh, yesterday, 26 U.S. military aircraft, all C-17s, departed with approximately 1,200 evacuees. In total, there were 28 flights out of Kabul airport in the last 24 hours, which included the remaining coalition uh, departures. As of today, more than 122,000, including 5,400 Americans, have been evacuated from Afghanistan. U.S. military troops have shown tremendous bravery and compassion as they put themselves in harm's way uh, to evacuate as many American citizens and Afghans as possible during this operation. That work by U.S. service members continues uh, across the globe at a number of intermediate staging bases and DOD installations. In CENTCOM, more than 27,000 passengers await follow-on movement from six active locations. In UCOM, three active locations currently have more than 22,000 passengers, and today, 17 flights will transport about 3,700 passengers to both Dulles International Airport with approximately 11 flights and Philadelphia International Airport uh, with six flights. In Northcom, there are nearly 13,000 passengers that remain at five different U.S. installations. These numbers are a snapshot in time and movement of personnel is very fluid. We do not expect these passenger totals to match the total number of the evacuees from Afghanistan, nor will they match the total Afghans arriving to the United States.